Hi, it's Gwen in the morning. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday brought to you by Medical Center Hospital. We join you every week and usually someone's with me, but this week we're gonna sit down, we're gonna catch you up to date and just get raw and real. I had my surgery, my sleeve gastrectomy on August 25th, which is just about three months ago. I'm down 55 pounds. I feel better than I have ever felt before. In each of the videos, you always see Dr. Davenport ask me if I notice about portion control, if I notice how things have changed. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've seen through throughout the whole uh, procedure and journey is learning, relearning how to do everything, eating, drinking. It's so incredibly different. Um, uh, to go out and eat with people, it's quite hilarious. I don't order anything to drink because if you follow the 30-20-30 rule, you don't need anything to drink while you eat. And that surprises people. And then, of course, eating uh, when you only uh, eat just a few bites. And so I've become accustomed to just eating off someone's plate. I know it gets annoying. but And going out to eat has been quite, quite fun to watch people's reactions. I don't order anything to drink. Because if you follow the 30-20-30 rule, you don't need anything to drink. And that saves you money as well. And, and eating has just been completely different, especially now that I'm on the full protein diet, which is chicken, fish, seafood, um, just eating such a small amount. And if you, if you want to know like exactly how much a serving should be that you should eat, it's right in the palm of your hand. It's this big right here. That should be your serving. That should be what you eat. And now after my last visit with Dr. Davenport and Kyle, the nutritionist, I can add in a few vegetables and even a few fruits. Uh, once again, I, like I said before, I'm down 54 pounds. I've never, never felt better. Exercising is becoming so much easier. I'm getting stronger week by week and I'm just amazed. All right, so in this week, we said we'd talk about my day. We'd walk you through my meals. What do they look like? I was never so excited to get to where I could eat eggs. I'm the biggest egg fan, yes. So I start out with an egg beater omelet. I use egg beaters. I grate up a uh, little piece of Baby Bell cheese and make an omelet. Of course, I measure it out. Measuring is one of the most important things. That way you'll know exactly how much you're getting, your portion size, remember? And with liquid, it's kind of hard, so make sure you use your measuring spoons. For lunch, I might have some tuna fish. Of course, no bread, uh, not, not big on carbs. So I have tuna fish mixed with some fat-free mayonnaise, or maybe I might have some imitation crab. Uh, I'll eat about 10 pieces of those. And then for dinner, I love to bake fish. Uh, tilapia is good. Shrimp is good. I'll boil some shrimp, maybe have a shrimp cocktail. And if I go out to eat, maybe it's a, uh, you know, just a few bites of a chicken breast or it's some shrimp, like I said, shrimp cocktail. Uh, and you want to watch not eating the sauces because of the acid. Your, your stomach has changed drastically. It's 85% smaller. So you have to watch out for things that would upset it, like acid. And even some things... I was not aware of this, but uh, I'm still not eating beef or pork and still have to wait a few months because of the acid that uh, is produced in my stomach after eating beef or pork. So we're still not up to that yet, but those are the things that I look at. I, I love every bit of it, of course, getting to start my day with eggs and cheese. I think those are my two favorite foods of all time. So it's perfect for me. And then, of course, seafood I absolutely love. So the little Cajun in me still gets to eat her seafood. And who could go wrong with chicken? So there's kind of how I plan out my day. It's very simple. It's very easy. And don't forget, measuring is a very important part of uh, staying on task and, you know, being able to monitor how much you intake. And, of course, always remember just to stop when you feel full. That's kind of how my day goes. Now, we want to invite you. If you have any questions for myself, for Dr. Davenport, for Jessica, the surgical coordinator, uh, we ask you to submit those to us. You can email us. Uh, right below is my email address. You can email us, of course. You can Facebook us. You can send us your uh, questions via Facebook. They will be anonymous. Uh, no one will know who sent them, and we'll answer them in the best way that we can. I actually had a question the other day about, uh, I would like to uh, share this info with my wife, but how do I do this without hurting her feelings? Well, the best answer is just to turn her on to the videos. Each weekly video, of course, you can subscribe at our YouTube channel. Uh, just go to YouTube.com and 
search Lone Star 92 and all of our videos are there. That's the best way to uh, get involved. And once again, I can't thank Medical Center Hospital enough for their support in this. Of course, Dr. Davenport and his staff. And if you want to, you can get all their information too at mchodessa.com. Uh, you can also get the times of the informational seminars that are available for all three surgery procedures, whether you'd like the bypass, the lap band, the sleeve, which is what I have. Those are all available to you online. There's support groups twice a month that you can visit. So once again, you can go to mchodessa.com. And thank you for following along with me. We'll bring you your next Wellness Wednesday next week on a Wellness Wednesday brought to you by Medical Center Hospital.